Scottsdale Fashion Square is an upscale, super regional luxury shopping mall located in the downtown area of Scottsdale, Arizona. It is the largest shopping mall in Arizona with approximately 2 million square feet of retail space and is among the top 30 largest malls in the country. It has consistently been one of the most profitable malls in the United States, being ranked in 2016 as the second highest sales per square foot mall in the country. And as of 2016, it was ranked in the top 25 most visited malls in the country by Travel Plus Leisure Magazine. The mall is located on the northwest corner of Scottsdale Road and Camelback Road in Scottsdale, Arizona, and has been owned by Wesker, a subsidiary of Mesa Ridge, since 2002. During the 1930s and 1940s, the land which would become the Scottsdale Fashion Square was too far from the established Scottsdale and Phoenix business areas to be considered valuable. A Ryan Evans drugstore was the only retail establishment on the site. During the 1940s the 40-acre site was purchased by Harry Lennart. In the 1950s he began to plan for a small shopping center. In 1959, the center opened consisting of four stores in addition to the existing drug store, a grocery store, barber shop, liquor store and camera store. In 1960 a steakhouse, built by Joe Hunt, Sr., was added. Scottsdale Fashion Square was originally built as a three-story open-air structure in 1961. The structure was designed by Edward L. Varney Associates and built by Kitchell Contractors. It was anchored by two local Phoenix stores, Department Store Goldwaters and Supermarket A.J. Bayless. At the time, the primary competitor was the Los Arcos Mall, a fully enclosed mall built in 1969, also located in Scottsdale. Its early financial success led to an expansion of the west side of the mall in 1974, which nearly doubled the square footage of the mall. This expansion also added an additional department store, Diamonds, to the northern section of the mall. In 1977, a competing mall, the fully enclosed Camelview Plaza, was built just west of Scottsdale Fashion Square, on the other side of North 70th Street. The competing mall was developed by Chicago businessman John F. Cuneo. Belly and Belly also of Chicago were the architects of the new mall. Camelview Plaza boasted Los Angeles department store Bullocks and Sokovitz. The shopping center also included a Harkins Camelview Theater on an out parcel. For several years, the two malls competed for shoppers and tenants. However, in 1982 after Wesker's purchase of the mall, the owners agreed to connect the malls by building a two-story retail bridge across North 70th Street, replacing the shuttle service that ran between the two malls. In the process, the street separating the two malls was sunk below grade level, widened to four lanes, and renamed North Goldwater Boulevard. The two malls were largely gutted and completely renovated. Dillard's took over the former A.J. Bayless and Diamond Spaces to create a new department store, while Goldwater's was expanded to 235,000 square feet. A ground-level food court, anchored by a seven-screen Harkins Theatre Cinema, was also added. The redevelopment was completed in 1991, closely followed by the addition of Neiman Marcus in 1992. Waterfall in Palm Court since replaced by an elevator Goldwaters became J.W. Robinson's in 1989, only to be converted into Robinson's May in 1993. Bullock's closed its doors at Camelview Plaza in 1996, and remained vacant for several years. That same year, Wesker purchased Camelview Plaza and renamed the entire 1,800,000 square foot shopping plaza, Scottsdale Fashion Square. The new ownership brought major changes to the mall, the largest being the addition of a new wing anchored by Arizona's first Nordstrom store and featuring many upscale retailers. At that time, Dillard's took over the former Bullock's store and expanded it to 365,000 square feet, making the Scottsdale store the largest in the company's fleet. This expansion increased the mall's square footage to 2 million square feet and made it the 13th largest enclosed shopping mall in the country. The expansion was completed in 1998 and was designed by Callison Architects Incorporated. Of Seattle the addition was built by the original contractor Kitchell. Sears briefly occupied the former Dillard store, only to be replaced by Macy's in 2002. Scottsdale Fashion Square The merger between Federated Department Stores and May Department Stores brought the closure Robinson's May and June 2006. Leading the mall to demolish the former department store and build another new wing anchored by Barney's New York. The new wing, which also featured an H&M store, opened in 2009. That same year, the first Microsoft store opened elsewhere in the mall. Another expansion was added in 2015, 
a two-level building with Dick's Sporting Goods on the lower level and a new 14-screen Harkins Theater Cinema on the top level. In early 2016, Barney's New York announced it would close its Scottsdale Fashion Square store. In late 2016 the mall's owner, Mesa Rich, announced plans of a new renovation, in excess of $100 million, which will include high-end residential units, a hotel, a new luxury entrance, hospitality areas and office space. Construction began in 2017, with the renovation completed in fall 2018. About a year after the Harkins had moved, a local theater opened in its place. Desert Stages Theater, a community playhouse for both old and young audiences, has now been an addition of Fashion Square for three years. In 2020, the mall was vandalized and looted after protesters violated curfew during the George Floyd protests. The police made 12 arrests including YouTube star Jake Paul, who claimed that he did not take part in the looting and was only recording it. Paul was charged with criminal trespass and unlawful assembly on June 4 for entering the mall illegally with the rioters. The first court date began on July 8. On August 5, 2020, the charges were dismissed without prejudice, with the Scottsdale Police Department saying it was in the best interest of the community and that a federal criminal investigation would be completed instead. A parking garage adjacent to the Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall was constructed by Scottsdale Fashion Square Partners and leased to the city of Scottsdale in 1998 for 50 years for $31,375,000. In 2012 Scottsdale Mayor Jim Lane and the City Council approved a prepayment of the lease, financed by issuance of municipal bonds. However, in 2015 the IRS notified the city that the issuance is being challenged for noncompliance with the federal tax code or rules. One possible basis for such challenges is failure of the public purpose test. Thanks for watching.